Take six, welcome to a dedicated brake awareness session for my 2001 Kawasaki Ninja ZX-12R Jewel of Find series. Before you click away to watch a documentary on the mating habits of a garden snail, hear me out. This is the right brake caliper that I split in half. What you're seeing is brake fluid crystallization or coagulation in the fluid channel. If left unchanged for too long, brake fluid can dry up and form solid deposits, blocking the fluid passages to the caliper piston. I felt it was important to raise awareness about the necessity of changing brake fluid. I'm going to split the left caliper. And yeah, it's even in worse shape. Right away, I can see that nearly all four fluid passageways are blocked. What's puzzling is that after bleeding the brakes, I was able to achieve a firm lever feel with ease. There was no signs of crystals or debris in the brake reservoir or the bleeding catch container, which suggests that everything was functioning as intended. This would mean only the three of the six pistons were functioning properly, yet oddly, both brake pads were centered on the rotor. However, the rotors had more drag than usual, prompting me to split the calipers, and I'm glad I did. I'm going to pour some rubbing alcohol into the brake caliper, hoping this breaks up any remaining brake fluid crystals. I don't recommend using rubbing alcohol near seals, but in this case, it's fine because I decided to replace them all. I haven't removed any of the pistons and seals, and the reason being is I tried everything under the sun to get these suckers out and they just won't budge. So I ordered a tool that actually might get the job done. Until then, I'm doing the best I possibly can to clean around the brake fluid passage. At this point, I'm starting to get a warm, fuzzy feeling, maybe because of what I think I've spotted. Hopefully my eyes are just playing tricks on me. I don't like it when they do, but this is one of those times when I actually hope they are. And nope, they're not playing tricks. What have my keen eyes spotted? Well, pitting and more pitting. It looks bad, but as long as the seals don't leak, performance and reliability won't be compromised. At the very least, flushing the fluid will help prevent further pitting. And at this stage, it's the best we can do. Well, it's the best I can do. The seal kit has arrived, and that's a lot of seals, oh boy. This is the tool that I've been waiting for. Simple, straightforward, and crude. And honestly, it's better than nothing, and that's an understatement. Now, I didn't record removing the first nine pistons with this tool because, because I had to modify it just to make it work. And let's just say I had absolutely nothing good to say. But, at the end, it got the job done. I get this feeling like a bag of bricks Try again tomorrow Like a problem I can never fix So Concrete 
Flushing the brake system should be done every two to three years depending on your riding style and environmental conditions. If you ride the bike on the track, I recommend changing the brake fluid every four track days. Other than removing the pistons with the $19 brake caliper tool, the job is relatively easy and can be done in, in two hours. But in my case, it took two days. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching till the end. And if you could possibly hit the like, share, and subscribe button, I will greatly appreciate it. And remember, always hug your pets. Until next time, take care.